Welcome to Ottawa, Canada's capital city, and one heck of a great boating destination. Sitting along the Ottawa River that forms the border between Ontario and Quebec, there's also the Rideau Canal that starts or ends here, and you can get to or from Kingston on Lake Ontario. But the Rideau isn't just a thoroughfare, it's a great day boating destination, and the ramp right in the heart of Ottawa at Dow's Lake is as good as you'll find anywhere. So we splashed our Princecraft Hudson and got underway. As always, on a Canadian canal, I want a Canadian-made boat. On every Canadian boater's bucket list should be cruising through downtown Ottawa by boat. It's very cool to be on the Rideau Canal. I've skated here, I've never boated here. It's almost a shame to not be fishing on this fishing boat. So, thanks. Sean. Yeah, buddy, I got a cool little fishing boat you want to check out, I think. I think you're gonna like it. How you feel about coming to Ottawa? Sweet! See you tomorrow. All right. Step one of my plan is complete. Oh, cool. That's where the Ottawa Redbacks play. It's no worry for us, but if you're in a cruiser, you'll have to plan your trip around some of the bridges. This is a very cool stretch. Lots of bridges span the historic canal. I know it's hard to tell with my super slender waistline, but it's as close as I've been to a bike path in well over two years. Man, this is an active city. The Rideau Canal is a centerpiece of the city. Paths run along the side of it, and there are cafes and restaurants, and of course, major buildings as you get downtown. Oh, in the shadows of Parliament. Feeling rather patriotic. I'm close to busting out to O Canada. When you pass under the Welling Street Bridge, you approach the most impressive historical aspect of them all. Whoa! Sweet view. The eight flight locks. But more about them later when we return to Ottawa a little later in the show. Ottawa is Canada's bilingual capital, so it's fitting that there are two options of boating as well. We've seen the canal, now it's time for the river. If you're gonna launch a boat in Ottawa, your best bet on the river is here at the Rockcliffe Yacht Club, which is a private club, but the ramp is open to the public. Located right beside the Canada Aviation and Space Museum, the flying footprint is very apparent here, and not just because a flying club still uses the runways. The ramp here used to be uh, for seaplanes, and it's uh, concrete that's uh, apparently three or four feet, feet thick. Uh, it goes out probably 70 feet out into the river, so it's a massive piece of structure that was constructed for the military, and now we get to launch, you know, uh, pleasure boats on. While we're in Ottawa, and on this great little fishing boat, it seemed like a shame not to actually try fishing. And as you well know by now, I'm not very good at it. So we brought back a friend of the show, Sean Banks from Team Rapala. Thanks, Steve. How are you? Good, and yourself? Good. Good. So we're in the Ottawa River. Me thinks there's fish here. Yeah, I've been told there's walleye, sauger, largemouth, smallmouth, pike, muskie. Ooh. So we have a variety of species that we can target today, and uh, hopefully they'll cooperate with us. So it's go time in Canada's capital on a Canadian-made boat, the Prince Craft Hudson DLWS. So we just got on board, like we can still see the marina. Yeah. Uh, first impressions of the Prince Craft Hudson. You've been on a lot of boats. Yeah, I have been on a lot of boats, and to be honest with you, uh, it's not missing any of the necessities. It's got everything we need, beautiful forward casting platform, family seats at the back that also turn into a rear casting platform, decent console, lots of storage, rod storage, battery storage, storage in the bow, live wells, everything you need to, for a weekend of fishing. Let's go find some wall, wall A. 
<laughs> wall A? <laughs> wall I. <laughs> with, with an E-H? <laughs> we'll make it patriotic. Wall A, wall oh, a. I see. Yeah. <laughs> we cruised in the low 20 miles per hour range and topped out at 40, which meant getting to our first shelf in no time. We decided we'd do a fish off, so each stake our spots on the boat. Sean wanted more room, so folded down the optional bench seating while I got a head start. So you got your spot in the front, I got my spot in the back. <laughs> After casting toward the Quebec side with no luck, I switched it up. There you go. Oh, you had him. You got him. Yeah. Yeah. The Ontario fish. Bring him right over here, Steve. Walleye. Yeah. <laughs> On the board. On the board. Yes. Nicely done. There you go. That's a beauty. Yeah. Beautiful little guy. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. We need some bigger ones, okay? Yeah, we'll get, catch a couple bigger ones. We'll throw them in the live well. Yeah. Is the live well back where you are? No, I think it's actually right below your feet there, Steve. Ah. Yeah. That's it there? Yes, sir. Well, let's get some water in that live well. You happy with that rod there? Yeah. This one's good All right. Then I'm going to get rid of these other ones. That's a lot of storage for a little boat. Yeah, it certainly is. And to be able to put your rods away, even when you're traveling to the cottage, instead of the back of the truck where the dog's stepping on them or your kid's bike's falling on them, <laughs> you know you know your rods are safe. The other nice thing too, Steve, I don't know if you noticed on this boat, is uh, it has the uh, track system. It seems to be a trend. Instead of drilling holes in your boat, you can introduce a tool holder, a cup holder. Even downrigger brackets now are designed to fit in there and lean over the side instead of drilling into your boat. Okay, this might be a stupid question, but how do you actually, like, physically put something in the track? Princecraft introduced this new little system on their track system. All you do is remove the screw, and the whole piece comes out. Of course, we kept fishing, and of course, the pro schooled me, even after my hot start to the day. Sweet! Not bad at all. And as much as he'd like to have stayed, Sean had to hit the road. Just the four, right? Yeah, that's it, buddy. Beauty. John, thanks. Great day. Oh, my pleasure. Great boat. Banks free and walleye free, it was hammered down and westward towards downtown Ottawa once again. The mix of boats around here is impressive. From houseboats to PWCs and everything in between. So you ever wonder where the name Rideau comes from and Rideau Canal and Rideau River? That. Well, actually, both sides. These are the Rideau Falls. And Rideau is a French word for curtains because, well, it looks like curtains. And right in the middle is Green Island separating these. Behind Green Island, there's a big, ugly block. And it's Old City Hall. Luckily, you got the natural beauty here. And to bypass these waterfalls is why the Rideau Canal was built. And Hogback Falls, yes, yes. But mainly these ones. And so it's a big reason why Ottawa is even here. A little further upriver, we'll get to some architectural beauty. And somewhere right around here is that dotted line on the map where we go from Ontario into Quebec. Where you go from hello boat to bonjour les bateaux. I think, I don't know, je pense. Boats aside, this is one of those must-see spots of Ottawa. So if you're coming through here, count on being in about 10,000 tourist photos. What makes the flight locks even cooler is the location. If you're heading down them, to the right, you have the beautiful and historic Hotel Chateau Laurier. And on your left, just behind us, you have the Parliament Buildings of Canada. What I think is the most beautiful part is the Library of Parliament, a round building right at the back. You can't see that from the street side. It's a view reserved for us boaters. So on the Ottawa River, you can get all the way down to Montreal, or you can use it as a day boating destination and just check out some of the waterfront restaurants, marinas, go tubing, check out the beaches. Or if you're on a cruiser and you want to head all the way down to Kingston, you can head down the Rideau Canal. Ottawa is a place to boat to or boat through. Speaking of through, 
We're done our exploration, so it is back to RYC for me.